Police say it all started with a traffic stop and ended with the officer getting shot in the torso below his bulletproof vest. All right, we have Fox 5 live team coverage tonight. Kendall Green is live at the scene in Far Rockaway, but let's start with Linda Schmidt as you make a hospital where the officer was taken and where officials just gave an update. Linda. Good evening, first of all, to both of you. This is gut-wrenching. Another New York City police officer has lost his life. A young cop, just 31 years old. You can see police officers gathered out in front of a Jamaica hospital here. There are also dozens and dozens more officers around the block on the side here to the hospital. They are in mourning tonight. And police also telling us the two suspects involved with this shooting, both of them have prior arrests. The driver of the car has at least one prior arrest for guns. In fact, he has a gun arrest from a year ago in April of 2023. That was just one year ago. The officer who sadly lost his uh, life tonight is Jonathan Diller, a 31 year old. He is married. He was with his uh, with these critical teams. This quarter of six broad daylight. What they had done was they approached this car that was illegally stopped at a bus stop. That's when the, drive, uh, the driver was sitting in the driver's side. The passenger, though, jumped out, and he is the one police say fired at Officer Diller, hitting him in the stomach, the uh, bullet entering underneath his vest. The mayor here tonight, the, the emotion that was out of everybody speaking at this news conference just a short time ago. The mayor saying the city is in mourning that, quote, we have lost a son. It is the good guys against the bad guys. And these bad guys are violent. They carry guns. And the symbol of our public safety, which is that police uniform, they have a total disregard for. And we're here far too many times. This is a difficult moment. There'll be plenty of time for anger, grief, and for processing pain. But right now, our prayers are with our fallen officer's family. He was given a lawful order numerous times to step out of the car. He refused. And when the officer took him out of the car, and stepping out of the car, he shot our officer. These attacks on New York City police officers have to end right now. We have a family upstairs that's devastated. We have police officers in this hallway who have lost a brother. And after Officer Diller was shot in the stomach, his partner fired a shot at the suspect, hitting the suspect as, as, uh, as well. He is currently uh, at a hospital on Long Island. But again, I just want to tell you here, Officer Jonathan Diller, just on the job here, 31 years old, just on the job for three years. Back inside to you. Horrible. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Linda.